Hello nerds and welcome to 4 Minute First where we give you a fast first impression of a new number one issue in 4 minutes or less. This week we're taking a break from the conventional hero scene and venturing into the horror comic territory with Redneck number one from Image Comics. Now while this title features vampires, I would not at all call it a conventional vampire story. In fact, there are a couple of neat tricks writer Donny Cates pulls to prevent it from being just another vampire comic book, so let's get to them. Now first off, Cates seemed to go out of his way to broadcast that the vampirism of the Bowman family is less the focus of the book and more a vehicle of its narrative. In other words, the fact that they're vampires feels more like a part of the setting of the comic than its driving narrative force. Yes, they're vampires. Yes, that means they drink blood and combust in sunlight. Yes, those things will feature in this book's plot. But this isn't about them as monsters feasting upon or turning the local human population. Instead, killing a human to feed is an offense to the family and won't be tolerated. Cow's blood is the approved alternative, and instead of the humans hiding from them, they seem to have secluded themselves from the humans, flipping the usual schema right on its head. Cates also manages to hint at a whole lot of history. The Bowman family history, Uncle Bartlett's personal history, the history of a sort of feud between the Bowmans and Landrys. We don't get much more than a taste of each, but they inform the narrative heavily already, and I'm sure we can look forward to those being revealed. In fact, I know we will have that luxury at least with Bartlett, because I cheated and looked ahead at issue number four's synopsis on Comixology. In the meantime, though, there's plenty to arrest your attention in the comics present. A few of the Bowman boys get into a bit of a scrap downtown, and there's some posturing, and then there's blood and a lapse in memory and a lynched body burning in the morning sun. It escalates quickly, to say the least, and how exactly it happened is kept hidden from the reader for now. The vampiric Bowmans have kept themselves from harming humans for decades, but will their resolve buckle in the amber light of their brother's burning corpse? Artist Lissandro Estherin's work is a solid match for the edgy feel of the book. He loves him some lines, man. They are everywhere. Scribbles and hatching and more intentionally fine detail like the grain of wood. I mean, if you were to arrange his panels as a flip book, everything would jump around like an Ed Ed and Eddie cartoon, but it totally works. And colorist D. Kunitz really has his work cut out for him with this one. I mean, seeing as it's a vampire book, you know it's going to be set largely at night with maybe a little dawn here and a little dusk there. We're going to see lots of blues and blacks. But he finds interesting ways to bring some color even to those pitch black nights. For instance, when Bartlett kicks this door out, the red light from within bleeds out into the dark alley and stays there consistently throughout the scene. You can actually orient the characters with that door by the light dosing of red and pink on some part of their person. And he breaks up Esperson's lines elsewhere with literal splatters of colors, adding both depth and visual variety. Now, Kate says this book is about blood, familial blood and the bodily fluid, and most significantly of all, bad blood. And that is evident both, I think, in the sort of feud that is established between the Bowmans and the Landrys, as well as the vampiric Bowmans' attempts to distance themselves from past evils. He puts it this way, It's about a family with evil in their blood who have made a decision not to be monsters anymore. Well, I'm intrigued, and I'll stay tuned, and you can too if you hurry on over to your local comic shop using the comic shop locator provided in the description below, or you can grab it from Comixology. Of course, if you're not in a hurry, the first trade paperback will only be $9.99 because Image is awesome like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to visit nerdsonearth.com for more nerdy goodness throughout the week covering comics, movies, television, tabletop games, RPGs, you name it, we've got it. And if you like what you're seeing here or reading there, share it. Share it across your social medias and grant yourself a plus one to your awesomeness stat. That's going to do it for this 4-Minute First. We'll be back in two more weeks with yet another installment, but for now, later nerds.